In many conversations, it's important for a chatbot to understand the user's sentiment and respond to it properly. In this video, I will show you how to do so easily on the Juju platform with no coding. Assume that we're making a chatbot to elicit gamers feedback on a new game's features. Let's create a new chatbot using the Blink template. Let's first customize the welcome message to suit our task. Now let's add a chatbot request to elicit a user's feedback. Let's customize the chatbot's response if a user's response contains positive sentiment. Let's customize the chatbot's response if a user's response contains negative sentiment. Now let's see what we have. As you can see, the chatbot can detect the user's positive sentiment and respond to it accordingly. Let's see if it can also catch a user's negative sentiment. In addition to capturing user sentiment, it may also be helpful to capture the key elements coming with the sentiment. This is also easy to do on GG. Let's assume that one of the new game features is a new soundtrack and the company wants to know what gamers think of the new music. To do this, let's add another condition to capture the keywords in addition to the sentiment. Do the same for the negative sentiment. Now let's check it out. To recap, on Juji it is fairly easy and fast to customize a chatbot to understand and respond to a user based on his or her sentiment. Moreover, you can also easily capture the key concepts associated with user sentiment. Sign on to Juji now to give it a try.